Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about how to measure a piston properly. So one of the common misconceptions when you go to measure your piston is that the piston will be the same size at the bottom of the piston as it will be at the top of the piston. This is completely incorrect. The top of the piston is much smaller than the bottom of the piston. This allows the piston to expand under heat. The byproduct of the combustion process, the top of the piston grows. If the top of the piston was the same size as the bottom of the piston, it would simply season the bore once it heated up. So when you measure your piston, there's a specific area that you measure the piston at. It's called the gauge point. The gauge point is on your spec sheet that came with your pistons. You must measure the piston at the gauge point. You must measure the piston with a micrometer. Not a set of veneer calipers, not a ruler, not the rule of thumb, not a piece of your girlfriend's hair, a set of mics. You measure the piston with a set of mics, then you establish a value. If you order an 84 millimeter piston, it is not going to be 84 millimeters at the top, nor can you accurately understand how big it is with a ruler. This is called cam and barrel. The skirt of the piston is there to stabilize the piston in the bore and to act as a reservoir to pull oil up the bore and to deal with the amount of thrust that goes onto the piston under the compression stroke. So there's a lot of magic that goes into the shape of the piston. It's not just a simple round device. If you have an issue and you're trying to establish what the correct size of the bore is, what the correct size of the piston is, you must go to a machine shop if you do not have the correct tools and establish the right values before you order the components and before you put the assembly together. If you put an 81.5 millimeter piston and an 82 millimeter bore, it's not going to work. It's going to make a lot of noise, it's going to smoke, it's going to be a mess, it's going to be a waste of money. So you must establish the correct values before you move forward. You must use the right tools or you should stop and get access to the right tools. So in closing, I hope you enjoyed this week's tech tip. This is one of the most critical things that you need to pay attention to when you're putting your engine together. Absolutely important that you understand the relationship between the piston and the bore. Thanks for tuning in. You can subscribe below or you can follow us on Facebook. Thanks.